Oh, I'll go to the second floor, please. Hello, Shopify world. My name is Andrew from EcomExperts.io, and thank you for joining me for another Shopify app review video. Uh, this week, we are looking at Post Studio. Auto posting by Caputa Technologies. Caputa. You know how long like I thought about like repeating this to get this right? Post Studio is a relatively new player on the market based on the number of apps that they have. And it is a free app that auto posts on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and, and others, if I understand correctly. But we're gonna look at that in just a second. It has a perfect five out of five review based out of 104 reviews, I think at this time, and we'll discover the rest together. So in this video, we will look at number one, the actual app, how it looks in the back and what it does. Number two, the competitive advantages. What else uh, do the competitors do? What are your alternatives if you don't like this specific one? There you go, I said it. NF smashing, off to the video. The app is installed and we are on the dashboard. But first, that second for you to like and subscribe, please. All right, cool. The dashboard looks simple. A uh, few top menu items, campaigns, settings, and help. Uh, again, as with almost every other app, you can find a live chat in the bottom right corner and we love this. Uh, customer support is terrific. We reached out to them and we got a response in just a few seconds and frankly, chapeau, Post Studio, that is some impressive customer support. The first step is app setup. And on this page, we need to connect our Facebook and our Twitter accounts. Let's connect uh, the Facebook page first. So click on add an account and we are redirected to Facebook. This is kind of the classic, the window pops up, you confirm your personal account. The app is now linked with our business page and we are back to the dashboard. Now we need to do the same thing with our Twitter account. Um, let's just fast forward to this. All right, we're back on the dashboard and both our accounts are linked. Let's jump into the campaigns tab. We had the same template, I think, with two apps so far. Uh, I'll link them in if I remember them. Um, okay, so the same images and colors, but all right, I guess. Let's click on a new campaign and a new window pops up. In this window, we should choose the type of campaign. Only one type is available, but I think it is because the app is new and they are planning to add more types of campaigns, so we're definitely giving them some slack there. Actually, they announced that they are planning to add the Instagram integration as well soon, so when they released it, we will do an updated version of the review. Okay, back to the campaigns. Let's choose this type random product poster, uh, post a random product every day to your audience on Twitter or Facebook. We are on a new page, which is the campaign setup. The first step is to choose the name of the campaign. I hope this is for internal use. So I will go with test Facebook. As always, my naming is as creative as a Renaissance artist. Uh, oh la la. Next in line is the post schedule. Choose the day and the exact hour where you want the app to auto publish your post. Choose the hour you can choose more than one hour in case you want the app to auto post more than once a day i want to choose the time that people are sitting on the toilet so let's do 9 a.m uh, because that's why most people are online this app allows you to choose which days of the week you want to post the product you can choose to only post it on weekends or you can exclude weekends because you have some kind of weekend special going on uh, we are going to choose every day because we are busy on weekends as well the next step is collection. A random product is selected from these collections each time the app sends a post on your Facebook page. Uh, we only have one collection on our awesome demo shop, so we will go with that one. Big surprise. The last step is to choose the page you want to post. You can not choose both Facebook and Twitter. It needs to be in separate campaigns. We will start with Facebook. So from the drop down menu, choose your Facebook page. Uh, a new field popped up for the post template. And on the right, you can see what the post would look like on our page very fun uh, the template is all right and if you want some other ideas but you're too damn lazy to make it yourself just click on template ideas right under this tech box i mean this app gets me on the other side it's not that difficult write your own lines and add some cool emojis by the way um did you know that emojis in a tweet can increase engagement by 25 percent and emojis in facebook posts can increase the number of likes by 57% and comments by 33%. I completely made this up. No, I didn't. 
I'm serious. Actually, I will post a link down below where I found this source, but uh, it's pretty crazy, don't you think? All right, that is it for the Facebook campaign. Let's scroll up and click on save and publish. Our Facebook campaign is up and running, so let's go back to the app dashboard. But first, we need to apparently tell them if we're satisfied by clicking on these stars right here. Uh, let's say four, and I will explain why later. Click on submit and let's check the help tab. Maybe we can find something interesting in here. Oh, okay. Uh, you can forget about my pro tip that I was so proud of from earlier for creating multiple campaigns for each day of the week since you can only make one campaign per social media channel. But they are planning to add more features soon, so we're looking forward to it. All right, it's 9.01 now. I'm sitting on the toilet and I got the notification that someone liked my post on Facebook. Okay, let's check if it's from the auto post from the post studio. Ah, uh, yes, here it is and it looks pretty awesome. Awesome. By the way, I'm sitting at my desk just in case you got worried. Okay, guys, that is it for the app. I really like this app. You can set up your campaign relatively easy. It will save you a lot of time in general. There are some things we're not too big of a fan of. The first was the design of the app. You can see that the app is new and it feels like we're testing some kind of beta version. With some improvements, this app can easily be five star fantastic, especially considering that the support was just a dream. So great job, Post Studio. And that is it for today, people. Thank you so much for joining me in this elevator. We will see you again in another Shopify review video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.